Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost Maths tutorial video on how we can access uh, the database of questions. Now there's two ways in which you might be able to access questions. You might want to browse by exam paper and we'll look at that in a second or you might want to browse by topic and you can see there's two links here to browse questions by topic or browse um, the exam papers uh, and you can also get the links in the menu here. So we can go to questions and you can see here browse questions by topic or we can browse by past paper. So let's uh, browse questions by topic first. And we can see in this dialogue we've got, well, there's 25,500 questions here uh, at the time of making this video. And obviously we'd want to filter this. So we might want to filter by topic. So I can click this and I'm going to select, say, shape, space and measures. I'm going to go to 3D volume and surface area and I'm going to find the volume of a pyramid, cone or sphere. And we can see there's 81 questions here. So I can then filter by author, so I can get a particular exam board. I just want Edexcel questions, and we can see there's 35 Edexcel questions, um, or we can go to other exam boards as well. Uh, I can also um, filter by difficulty, so I can say uh, have just harder exam questions. So difficulty two is roughly corresponds to easy exam questions, and difficulty three roughly corresponds to hard exam questions. If I filter uh, to difficulty three, we can see there's 29 questions here. And you can also uh, just type in um, any keyword as well. So if I just remove this selection, I could say type in my name. So if I type in Jamie, I can see there is nine matching questions in the database. So I can see in fact there's an Excel question uh, with my name in it. You can also access, um, if you want to quickly get to a topic, you can type the topic in the search bar at the top. So if you click here and I just say want changing the subject, I can see here I've got changing the subject where the subject appears once only or changing the subject where the subject appears multiple times. So if I click that, for example, uh, it will then quickly go to all the matching questions on that particular topic. So that's just a nice quick way to access that. I also said you can browse by papers. If I go to questions and then pass papers, nice and easy to find, we can see all the different exam boards here. And I've distinguished between sort of the newer syllabus papers um, where you have nine to one, and the older papers here. And you can see a variety of different exam boards, including UK Mathematics Trust papers, who do the math challenges. Um, that's for the primary math challenge here. And we've also got the Oxford Maths Aptitude Test. So let's just say I want an Excel paper, one of the newer ones, and you can filter by uh, what tier you want, so higher tier or foundation tier. And let's just say I want last year's paper, and I can select it. And you can see all the questions here. And you can answer the questions um, just as you can on the browse by um, topic mode. So I can just put in an answer. And it's great for doing this in class. So you can get, you can find a question, you can get the, the students in your class to do the question, and then you input their answer, and it will instantly feed back on um, what the correct answer was. And you can see a number of options up here. So I'll explore these more in another video, but we can set that as work so I can set this particular GCC paper to a particular class. Um, so I don't want that. Or I can save a copy of it if I want to modify the paper. For example, removing some questions so it's more suitable to set as a homework. I can export it to Microsoft Word. I can play it as a live game, which again, I explore in another video or I can do practice mode. Now, it's mostly for students, but what happens is it presents the questions one by one in the paper. 